Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Parallel Road Tool mod for City Skylines. First, go to the Steam Workshop and subscribe to the mod. Once in game, you can access the mod itself by first going to the Roads panel, and on the left hand side, under the Upright Road button, there's a new button here for the Parallel Road Tool. When you click on the button, a new window shows up. So, to start using the mod, first select a road you want to use from the Roads panel. For example, I'll select this three lane highway. Then in the mod window, press the plus button here and it will add the road you have selected in the roads menu to the stack. In this case, it's another three lane highway. Next, you want to reverse the direction of the second highway road by clicking on this arrow button here. Now we can try out this configuration by placing this road down. And as you can see, it makes a full highway easily. The spacing in between here is a bit narrower than the vanilla highways, so to change that, I can change the value here in the first text box. So, for example, I'll change it to 36, and now it matches the spacing of the vanilla highways. The second text box here changes the elevation of the parallel roads, or roads, so if I enter a positive value in this text box, the road is elevated, and if I enter a negative value, it is sunken. This mod allows you to easily mix and match different networks, and this is what makes this tool so powerful. For example, I can go to the rail tab here and add this rail line to the stack. I can also change the road type after adding it by going to this drop down menu here and selecting a different road. I can then change the value here for the rail track to 18 units away from the first road in order to center it between the two highways. I then need to go back and select the base road. And when I place the road stack, as you can see, there's a rail track in the center. This mod works well if the road tools built in the game as well, so you can easily make curved sections of custom highway. I'll next make something more advanced. In this case, I'll be making a waterfront boulevard of a promenade with this tool. So first, I'll just use the find it mod and search for a custom decorated key asset the mod supports adding any draggable network that the game supports, including roads, keys, and even things like water pipes. I'll next go to the roads panel here and use this custom three lane one way road with bike lane and add to the stack. Then I can go to the tram tab here and add a tram track. Finally, I can add another three lane one way with bike lane road. Now I can go back to the search tab and select the custom key reverse this last road, and now I can try out this custom configuration. This looks good, but if I need to change the spacing values, these values from what they are to 12 and 24 and 36. You might need to play around with these values a little bit in general in order for it to space correctly and make it look the way you want. This mod makes road configurations that used to take a long time, easy, quick, and painless. There are some extra convenience features this mod has as well. One of them is this top button here, and it's for toggling node snapping on all points. This is useful in a situation where you want to connect a new set of roads to an old set of roads. Without this option enabled, it just snaps to the first road, while with it enabled, it snaps to all of the roads. This mod also features some keyboard shortcuts that affect the global spacing of all the roads. So Control minus shrinks the spacing of all the roads in the stack, while Control shift plus expands the spacing of all the roads. So that's the Parallel Road Tool mod. It's a really nice addition to any City Skylines game, and it can make advanced builds so much easier. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to learn about another great mod, check out my tutorial on Cinematic Camera Extended. This mod allows you to make awesome looking cinematic shots exactly the way you want. Check it out by clicking on the card above. Thanks for watching.